Hey all, just thought I'd do another video on converting 22 Hornet to 22K Hornet. I've had a lot of response from the last one I did. It was just a roughie. We're out in the paddock. Um, I was fire forming some shells. So, because we've had a lot of response from it, uh, I thought while I'm working up some loads, uh, I'll give you a bit of a run down on actually what it's all about. So, 22K Hornet, very old, round, been around for a long time. One of the inherent problems with the 22 Hornet is that there's no actual real shoulders on the actual uh, brass itself. So when you fire it, you always tend to have the brass stretching forward. And when you reload them, you always seem to be shaving off the end, just trimming them down. And what that eventually does is it makes the brass very, very, very weak and thin, and you get a lot of splits. Some people have even reported that uh, they can only get up to about five reloads with a standard 22 Hornet. Uh, what a K Hornet is, as I said in the earlier video, is a fellow by the name of Kilborn uh, a long time ago came up with a conversion where he got a basically a reamer, similar, similar to this reamer. Um, obviously, this is not a 22K Hornet reamer, but it actually goes the idea is that it goes into your chamber it's got a little the proper reamer's got a little lead which goes into your chamber so it doesn't wobble and then they just it just cuts it just cuts the chamber to a new shape which is what they call a 22k hornet so same as a 223 or a 308 uh, they've got a, a definite set of shoulders so now when you fire the bullet uh, the shell can't expand further past these uh, little shoulders there. And so what that does is it stops the, the, the bullet, the majority of the bullet always wanting to stretch and walk forward. So you do still need to, when you're reloading, just to trim them, but not as often. And so what you find the result of having a 22K Hornet is that you have a, a bullet, uh, which is the case life is a lot longer, a lot longer, and more reliable and quicker to load because you, you sometimes well every every second load every third load you may need to run them through the trimmer but but not often um, now the other benefit of a hornet of, of a k hornet is that you get uh, you get about between two and three more grain of case capacity um, between the two now if you're chasing hot loads um, for distance or if you're shooting heavier pills, you know, 45 grains or, or heavier, um, that extra bit of powder can actually make a big difference. So a little example, I'm actually just working up some loads here for my uh, Target 22 Hornet, which is a beautiful Virac HW66 Jag match. Um, now, when I was developing loads for this, I got to a point um, with the standard 22 Hornet, when it was a standard 22 Hornet, where I got to, I can't remember exactly, it might have been um, 10 and a half grains of capacity, and the group started to come in really, really, really tight, but I ran out of space in the shelves. And I went back through my results, and as with any loads, and I'm going to be doing um, a load development video shortly, so stay tuned for that, subscribe for that. Um, I went back through my results and I can see, you know, where the gun was peaking and where, it, you know, what it liked. It might have liked 9.6 grains and then it kind of started to open up a little bit. And by the time we got to, you know, 10, it sort of started to close a little bit. But we got to about 10 and a half. I had no more case capacity left and it was, it was good, but I felt there was more in it. Um, so I've sent it away to, to be converted into K Hornet. Um, look, it's not an expensive process. You're not stepping backwards in any mean, by any means. You're going forward, and I think my gunsmith charged me uh, about 150 bucks Australian. So, like everyone's different. You get gunsmiths might charge you 50, 80 dollars, whatever. But um, that's what I was charged, and I was very happy. So when it came back, um, I started off at I started off at those shells at 10.5, and then when the K when it it uh, fire formed some of these K Hornet shells. I then went to 10.6 and 10.7 uh, and all of a sudden those groups just started getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter 
and I've got to uh, a situation now where at 10.8, this particular gun with this particular powder and the particular projectile that I'm using uh, is shooting sub half inch groups at 100 meters. Now, I wasn't able to achieve that with a standard 22 Hornet shell because it just, with those, with those, with a powder projectile and what I was doing, I got half decent results sort of prior to 10.5, but then when I was actually able to go past that, that's where it really tightened up. So that tells me that this gun likes a fairly hot load with that projectile and that powder. So that's a bonus. That's a definite bonus. So for those of you that are new to 22 Hornet and also new to fire forming, it's pretty straightforward. You get a 22 Hornet, you get it converted to K Hornet, and you can then just load your standard Hornet bullets into it. A K Hornet will shoot both. It'll shoot a, it'll shoot a standard 22, and it'll shoot K Hornet. So at a pinch, if you're going out into the scrub, you've got nothing loaded, you can call via your gun shop, pick up just some you know standard 22 Hornet shells, whatever, take them out, shoot them, do your hunt. That's no worries. So when you shoot them, put them in and you fire them and the pressure within the chamber reforms the brass into that shape. Uh, and then therefore, if you're a reloader, then you reload as a K-Hornet and you just pick yourself up some dies and, and away you go. If you're not a reloader, well, you just chuck it out, chuck your shells out, whatever, and away you go. So that's 22K Hornet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'm just going to finish up loading a few more little rounds here. Uh, and then we're going to head down to the range and we're going to fire form a few just to show you what they go in like and what they come out like. So we're down here at the range and we're going to start to convert some standard 22 Hornet bullets. Just your, that's just your typical VMAX and we're going to convert them into 22K Hornet. So here's what the two look like. As you can see, 22K Hornet looks like a miniature 223, and that's it there. And you've got your standard 22 Hornet here. Now both of these have got the same projectiles, uh, VMAX, 40 grain, and we're going to show you uh, what we do. So this is the trusty Virac. 22 Hornet in uh, Jag Mat, 66 Jag Mat, or some countries call them 66 Running Ball. So here we go. We put a standard Hornet in, and we, uh, yeah, we shoot it, shoot it as per normal. Boom. And when it comes out, I'll just catch it. Comes out looking like that. I'll grab another standard Hornet, put it beside it. As you can see, it comes out, goes in looking like that, comes out looking like that, ready to reload. So, when you uh, when you decide to go down the 22K Hornet route, you need to get a gunsmith to convert it, and it's anywhere from 50 to about $150 to get them converted. Uh, you then need to buy yourself uh, your favourite choice of dies in 22K Hornet because they are slightly different to a normal set of uh, 22 Hornet dies. Uh, I chose RCBS because uh, I like them. They're just it's just good gear. But Lee make them as well, and there's a few others that do make them. And uh, yeah, away you go. Now, just to show you, show you something a little bit different for those uh, for those people. I've, I I rarely use the mag on this. Um, you can actually mix and match. So in goes a standard 22 Hornet. Um, in goes a 22K Hornet. And they mix and match. So we stick them up in there. Or oh, they're just borderline. Oh, see, they're borderline being a little bit too long for the, uh, for the chamber. So there we go. So that's 22K Hornet just fed into it now. A preloaded K Hornet. Out it comes. In, oh, actually, don't let me lose that, because I'm a reloader. I love these. 
Uh, so next we got the, I'm just having a little bit of an issue here with the, with the Virac because like I said, um, my seating depth for these bullets, I've seated them so they don't fit into the magazine. I actually seat them at about 20 thou off the lens, which is too long for the mag. So that's where all that whole jamming thing comes from. So this is the 22 standard Hornet now in there. If I can find the... Right -o. Out she comes as a K Hornet. We'll do another couple and we'll go down and see how the mix and match went as far as accuracies is concerned. I think that's five shots. Uh, so let's go down and see where they landed. Alrighty, so here we are down at the dot that I aimed at. We uh, Looks like I only put four in there, so I don't count that well. But the reason for this video is to show you exactly how a 22K Hornet doesn't uh, inhibit your shooting experience, even if you mix up in the same magazine, 22K Hornet with 22 Hornet. Um, so here we have, like that's, I'm just gonna tell you straight up, that's about three quarters of an inch at 100 meters, which is what's that, about 110 yards, three quarters of an inch. Now that's with uh, 22 Hornet bullets. And in that magazine, uh, we had some 22K Hornets, which are completely different powder rate. They had, um, still had the same projectile, but I think these ones are 10.5. Uh, I've got the 22 Hornets loaded at, and the, uh, the couple that we, couple of K Hornets that we shot were at about 11.6 or something like that. So as you can see, that's probably why the, the two that we shot went a little bit higher uh, than those. But, but three quarters of an inch uh, at 110 yards, that's, that's pretty good. So there you go. So what we'll do now, just to show you how accurate you can be even when you're converting your standard 22 Hornet to 22 K Hornet shells, we'll put, uh, we'll put five on, on this dot right there. Um, no mix and match this time, it'll be just five, same powder eight, same bullets, and we'll see where they land. Um, having said that, I will say this before I start, I don't wanna make excuses. Um, I pretty much know that my Virac is, uh, doesn't like about 10.5. It likes to be a little bit hotter, um, but the reason I'm just trialing that is because I'm just trying these VMAX where it normally likes um, nozzlers with a little bit hotter powder. But anyway, we'll go and put five, five standard Hornets through the Virac, convert them into K Hornet while we're going, and we'll see where they land. All right, okay, so we're gonna put five shots down. Um, while we're converting. So we're gonna be doing 22 K Hornet converting while we're target shooting. We've got a pretty good breeze that's picked up a bit here now. So uh, at 100 meters, 40 grain pellets, it shouldn't really make too much difference, but let's have a look. See how we go. There's one. Two. What I love about the 22 Hornet, 22K Hornet, is it's just hardly any kick. It's nearly only, it's not much more than a 22 magnum and it's not much louder. But you get the fun of reloading. The fun of reloading, the fun of experimenting with your loads. Plus you've got such a versatile hunting gun, you know, out to 200 meters.
Oh geez. So I pulled that fella. And the last one. Well, righto, let's head down there, have a look, and wrap up this video. Okay, so here we are. We got four here in a half inch group, uh, and then this one, which I, yeah, I pretty much called that I pulled that. Uh, so that's an inch at 110 um, while we're converting. Uh, take that little fella out, which, you know, you, when you pull a shot, it's it's, it's the shooter's fault. So um, that's four shots at a three quarter of an inch at 110 yards. So that's pretty good. So that no accuracy loss whatsoever, firing standard 22 Hornet bullets through a converted K Hornet. Yeah, so therefore you can shoot both. I hope you guys really sort of learned something today out of this. Uh, I'm a big K Hornet fan. I just think that they're more versatile than a standard Hornet and a lot less work in the end when you're reloading. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to press that subscribe. Uh, we've got some lovely videos coming up soon on a couple of different products which we've just been sent to test and uh, hope you enjoy them. See you again.